Alfre Woodard, an accomplished actress, has made a significant impact in the film and television industry. With a career spanning over four decades, she has become a household name, delivering captivating performances that have resonated with audiences worldwide. Born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Alfre's passion for acting began at a young age. She pursued her dreams and attended Boston University School of Fine Arts, where she honed her craft. In 1978, she made her film debut in Remember My Name, and since then, she has appeared in numerous classics, including Cross Creek, Passion Fish, and Twelve Years a Slave. Throughout her career, Alfre has showcased her versatility, taking on various roles that have left a lasting impression. She has played strong-willed characters, such as the no-nonsense principal in the film Kirkland and the resilient nurse in the television series Saint Elsewhere. Her powerful performances have earned her numerous accolades, including four Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. Alfre's work has transcended the screen, and she has become an advocate for social justice. Using her platform to raise awareness about important issues, she has also lent her voice to various animated series and films, including The Lion King and Dumbo, leaving a mark on a new generation of audiences. Today, Alfre Woodard continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her work. Her enduring legacy is a testament to her talent and dedication to the craft of acting. This classic actress has left an indelible mark on the industry, and her contributions will be cherished for generations to come. Alfre Woodard is a classic actress known for her powerful performances. She's been active in the industry for decades, gracing both the big and small screens with her talent. Did you know that Alfre Woodard was one of the first African-American women to be nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award back in 1983? Or that she's also an accomplished stage actress, having won several Obie Awards for her work in off-Broadway productions? Is there a particular moment from one of Alfre Woodard's works that has stayed with you? Maybe it's her heart-wrenching performance in the film Cross Creek, or her unforgettable turn as the tough but fair principal in Luke Cage. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. What's your most cherished memory of Alfre Woodard's work? Share your thoughts in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Alfre Woodard that we can't wait to share with you. So keep watching this video to learn more about this talented actress. Alfre Woodard, an accomplished actress, was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1952. She was the youngest of three children in a family that valued education and artistic expression. Her parents, Marion and Constance, were hardworking individuals who instilled in her the importance of perseverance and dedication. Growing up, Alfre was exposed to various forms of art, including theater, which piqued her interest in acting. She began performing in local productions and quickly discovered her passion for storytelling. Her early exposure to the craft and the support of her family encouraged her to pursue a career in acting. Alfre's path was influenced by several key mentors who recognized her talent and nurtured her growth as an artist. One of her earliest mentors was her high school drama teacher, who provided her with opportunities to hone her skills and gain confidence on stage. Later, while attending Boston University, Alfre studied under the guidance of renowned acting coach Phyllis Berkby, who helped her develop her unique style and approach to character building. In addition to her formal education, Alfre found inspiration in the works of groundbreaking actresses like Lena Horne and Cicely Tyson. These trailblazing women demonstrated the power of artistry and activism, inspiring Alfre to use her platform to advocate for social change. Throughout her career, Alfre Woodard has remained committed to her craft and her community, creating memorable performances in films, television shows, and on stage. Her dedication to her art and her influence on future generations of artists is a testament to her enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Alfre Woodard is an accomplished actress who has made a significant impact in the film and television industry. Born on November 8, 1952, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, she began her acting career in the late 1970s. Throughout her career, Woodard has delivered captivating performances in a variety of roles, showcasing her versatility and talent. She has appeared in numerous films, including Cross Creek, Grand Canyon, and Twelve Years a Slave. In addition, she has starred in several television shows, such as St. Elsewhere, Desperate Housewives, and Luke Cage. Woodard's work has resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning her numerous accolades, including four Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award. Her contributions to the industry have left a lasting impact, and she continues to be a prominent figure in Hollywood. Despite her success, Woodard remains humble and dedicated to her craft. 
She is known for her commitment to social justice and has used her platform to raise awareness about important issues. In this classic film, Woodard delivers a powerful performance that is not to be missed. Her talent and dedication have made her a beloved figure in the industry, and she continues to inspire aspiring actors and actresses today. Alfre Woodard's passion for acting can be traced back to her childhood. As a young girl, she was deeply moved by a local production of the play, The Wiz. This experience left a lasting impression on her and sparked her interest in the world of theater. She pursued this interest by participating in school plays and joining a community theater group. Her natural talent and dedication quickly set her apart, and she began to receive recognition for her performances. One pivotal moment in Alfre's journey came when she was cast in a small role in a local production of For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide. When the rainbow is in Newf, the show's director was so impressed by Alfre's talent and stage presence that she gave her a larger role in the production. This opportunity allowed Alfre to truly shine and solidified her desire to pursue a career in acting. From that moment on, Alfre dedicated herself to honing her craft and pursuing her passion. She went on to study at Boston University and later moved to New York City to pursue her dreams. Her hard work and determination paid off, and she quickly established herself as a talented and respected actress in both theater and film. In the years since, Alfre has continued to captivate audiences with her powerful and nuanced performances. Her work has transcended generations and left a lasting mark on the world of acting. Despite her many accomplishments, Alfre remains humble and dedicated to her craft, always striving to push herself and create meaningful and impactful work. Alfre Woodard is an actress known for her authentic performances, including a real injury she sustained while filming Scrooge. In the movie, her character, Grace Cooley, gets elbowed in the face by Bill Murray's character, Frank Cross. The accidental hit wasn't scripted, but Woodard's commitment to the role shone through. Woodard's acting abilities have also led to her portraying the same character, Dr. Roxanne Turner, in two different shows, St. Elsewhere and Homicide Life on the Street. The latter was executive produced by Tom Fontana, who also worked on St. Elsewhere. Her consistent and believable performances allowed her to reprise the role over a decade later. In the film Primal Fear, Woodard took on a part originally intended for a 60-year-old Caucasian male. She accepted the role on the condition that only the character's age and race would be changed, preserving the original traits. This decision further showcased her versatility and dedication to her craft. Alfre Woodard, a gifted actress, faced significant challenges in her early career. Financial struggles were a constant hurdle. To make ends meet, she took on various jobs, including working as a waitress and a factory worker. Despite these hardships, she never lost sight of her dream to become an actress. The entertainment industry was also skeptical of her abilities. She was often rejected for roles due to her race and gender. However, Alfre remained undeterred. She used these rejections as stepping stones, honing her craft and developing her skills. One of the creative solutions she found was to start her own theater company. This allowed her to create opportunities for herself and other actors of color. Through her theater company, she was able to showcase her talent and gain recognition in the industry. Alfre's resilience and determination paid off. She eventually landed roles in both film and television, becoming a respected and admired actress. Her performances in classic films such as Cross Creek and Miss Evers' Boys have left a lasting impact on audiences. In addition to her acting career, Alfre has also been a strong advocate for social justice and human rights. She has used her platform to raise awareness about important issues and to make a difference in the world. Alfre Woodard's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and creativity in overcoming obstacles. Her resilience and determination continue to inspire and empower others to chase their dreams, no matter the challenges they may face. Alfre Woodard, a respected actress, held a position on the dramatic jury at the Sundance Film Festival in 1998. In 1998, she shares this distinction with Felicity Huffman as the only two Desperate Housewives cast members to receive Oscar nominations. Woodard's connection to the acting world runs deep, having maintained a close friendship with her acting mentor, Lauren Bacall, until Bacall's passing in August 2014. This relationship highlights the importance of mentorship in the acting industry and Woodard's dedication to her craft. Delving further into Woodard's career, one can't help but notice her impact on both stage and screen. Her versatility and commitment to her roles have left an indelible mark on the film and television landscape. 
Alfre Woodard's career has been dotted with breakthrough moments that have left an indelible mark in the film and television industry. In 1983, she starred in Cross Creek, a film that garnered critical acclaim and earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This early recognition set the stage for a series of remarkable performances. In the late 80s, Woodard took on the lead role in the television series St. Elsewhere, where she played Dr. Roxanne Turner. Her portrayal of a strong, intelligent, and compassionate doctor resonated with audiences and broke new ground for black actresses on television. Later, in 1997, Woodard delivered a powerful performance in the film Miss Evers' Boys, where she played the role of Eunice Evers, a nurse who becomes involved in the infamous Tuskegee syphilis experiment. Her heart-wrenching performance earned her a Golden Globe Award and an Emmy Award, further solidifying her status as a formidable actress. Moreover, Woodard's work in the 2000s, including her role in the television series Desperate Housewives, showcased her ability to take on diverse and challenging roles. She continued to push boundaries and break stereotypes, earning her a loyal following and the respect of her peers. In recent years, Woodard has taken on roles in critically acclaimed films such as 12 Years a Slave and Luke Cage, further cementing her place in the annals of film and television history. Her contributions to the industry have transcended generations, leaving a lasting impact that continues to inspire and captivate audiences. Alfre Woodard, a renowned actress, has been open about her struggles with mental health. In a 2015 interview, she discussed her experience with depression and how she sought help. Woodard's honesty about her mental health journey has encouraged others to do the same. Beyond mental health, Woodard has faced other challenges in her life and career. She has spoken about the lack of diversity in Hollywood and the importance of representation. Woodard has also been an advocate for social justice, using her platform to speak out against inequality and discrimination. Despite these struggles, Woodard has had a successful career spanning over four decades. She has been nominated for multiple awards, including an Academy Award and multiple Emmy Awards. Woodard's work has left a lasting impact on the film and television industry, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses. Woodard's story is a reminder that even those who seem to have it all can face struggles and challenges. It's important to prioritize mental health and seek help when needed. Additionally, advocating for representation and social justice can make a significant impact on society. In conclusion, Alfre Woodard's journey serves as a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of mental health and advocacy. Her contributions to the film and television industry and her activism have left a lasting impact, inspiring others to do the same. Alfre Woodard, a gifted actress, is known for her ability to fully embody each character she plays. She once shared that she approaches her work by first understanding the character's background and experiences. This allows her to connect with a character on a deeper level and deliver a more authentic performance. Woodard's unique style is characterized by her attention to detail and her ability to bring depth and complexity to each role. She has a knack for finding the humanity in even the most flawed characters, making them relatable and real for the audience. The actress's personal experiences and worldview are often reflected in her work. For example, in the film Cross Creek, she portrays a strong-willed African-American woman living in the segregated South. Woodard has spoken about how her own experiences growing up in the South influenced her portrayal of this character. In addition to her film work, Woodard has also made a name for herself on television. She has appeared in a number of classic shows, including Hill Street Blues and L.A. Law, as well as more recent hits like Luke Cage and C. In each role, she brings her own unique perspective and style, making each performance a must-see. Woodard's work is a testament to her talent and dedication as an actress. Her ability to connect with audiences and bring characters to life has made her a beloved figure in the world of film and television. Whether she's playing a tough-as-nails cop or a wise and compassionate leader, Woodard always delivers a captivating performance that leaves a lasting impression. Alfre Woodard, an accomplished actress, was born to Marion H. and Constance Woodard. She once designated the French classic The Red Balloon as her favorite film for an AFI poll. In the world of cinema, Woodard has shared the screen with Mary McDonnell in four films Grand Canyon and Passion Fish, both released in the 1990s, followed by Blue Chips and Mumford. This shared history between the two actresses spans nearly two decades, showcasing their versatility and enduring presence in the film industry. Alfre Woodard's contribution to the acting industry is significant and far-reaching, 
With a career spanning over four decades, she has made an indelible mark on the industry through her powerful performances and commitment to authentic storytelling. Woodard's work has often centered on bringing marginalized voices to the forefront, and she has been a trailblazer in her field. According to industry expert Darren Davis, Alfre Woodard has always been a force to be reckoned with. She has a unique ability to bring depth and complexity to every character she plays, and she has paved the way for so many other actors of color in the industry. Throughout her career, Woodard has taken on a wide range of roles, showcasing her versatility and talent. From her breakout role in Cross Creek to her memorable performance in 12 Years a Slave, she has consistently delivered standout performances that have resonated with audiences and critics alike. Woodard's work has also had a significant impact on the world of television. She has starred in a number of hit shows, including St. Elsewhere, Desperate Housewives, and Luke Cage. According to TV Guide, Woodard's ability to bring nuance and depth to every character she plays has made her a fan favorite and a respected figure in the industry. In addition to her work as an actress, Woodard has also been a vocal advocate for social justice and equality. She has used her platform to speak out on issues such as police brutality, racial inequality, and gender discrimination. Overall, Alfre Woodard's contribution to the acting industry is undeniable. Her powerful performances, commitment to authentic storytelling, and advocacy for social justice have made her a true icon in the world of film and television. As fellow actress Viola Davis puts it, Alfre Woodard is a master of her craft. She has the ability to captivate audiences with her performances, and she has inspired so many of us to be our best selves both on and off the screen. Alfre Woodard offered to play the role of Evie in the independent film Follow Me Home Without Pay impressing filmmaker Peter Bratt. One of her favorite characters is Wanda in Holiday Heart, and she holds 12 Years a Slave, Miss Evers' Boys, Baffa, Passion Fish, and Miss Firecracker among her favorite films. Woodard estimates she's performed in the play for Colored Girls several thousand times, which caught the attention of producer Robert Altman, leading to her first film, Remember My Name. Alfre Woodard, an accomplished actress, is known for bringing depth and authenticity to her roles. In her personal life, she is deeply committed to social activism. She has been an advocate for various causes, including education, human rights, and the arts. Woodard serves on the board of directors for the prestigious Sundance Institute, which supports independent filmmakers and storytellers. The actress has also been involved in several philanthropic efforts. She has worked with organizations such as the President's Committee on the Arts and Humanities, promoting arts education and cultural programs for young people. Woodard has also been a vocal supporter of the Step Up Women's Network, which empowers girls from under-resourced communities to become confident, college-bound, and career-focused. Woodard's personal values and interests often intersect with her work. For instance, she has portrayed strong, socially conscious characters in films like Miss Evers' Boys and The Pursuit of Happiness. In real life, she is not afraid to use her platform to speak out on important issues, making her a true role model for many. In her free time, Woodard enjoys reading, gardening, and spending time with her family. She is a mother of two and has been married to her husband, Roderick Spencer, for over three decades. The actress believes in living a balanced life, integrating her personal values and interests into her work and daily life. Alfre Woodard's parents came from large families, each having 12 children. In 1989, the actress adopted her first child, a daughter named Mavis Spencer, with her husband Roderick M. Spencer being the father. A notable friendship exists between Woodard and Jonathan Frakes, who refers to her as his godmother. Their bond dates back to their early days as young actors in the 1970s. Alfre Woodard, a celebrated actress, has left an indelible mark in the film and television industry. With a career spanning over four decades, she has brought to life a myriad of complex characters, each one distinct and memorable. Her work in films such as Cross Creek, and Miss Evers Boys, as well as television shows like Hill Street Blues and Luke Cage, has earned her numerous accolades, including multiple Emmy Awards. When asked about her legacy, Woodard humbly attributes her success to her passion for storytelling and her commitment to authenticity. She encourages aspiring actors to always stay true to themselves and the characters they portray. Looking ahead, Woodard envisions her future contributions as a continuation of her lifelong dedication to the craft. She is excited about the opportunities that the evolving entertainment landscape presents, and she is eager to explore new mediums and storytelling techniques. Her advice to those looking to break into the industry is simple, yet profound, never stop learning, never stop growing, 
and never stop challenging yourself. The moment you become complacent is the moment you stop growing as an artist. Woodard's impact on the industry is undeniable, and her legacy will no doubt continue to inspire generations of actors to come. Alfre Woodard is the most honored African-American actress in Primetime Emmy Award history. She won her first Primetime Emmy Award in 1984 for Hill Street Blues, her second in 1986 for L.A. Law, and her third in 1986 for L.A. Law, and her third in 1997 for Miss Evers' Voice. She studied acting with Michael Howard at Boston University, and Scrooged, she played Grace Cooley, and she also appeared in Heart and Souls. Alfre Woodard, an actress of great passion and innovation, has left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. She was born in 1952 and began her career in the late 1970s, quickly making a name for herself with her powerful performances. Throughout her career, the actress has tackled a wide range of roles, showcasing her versatility and commitment to her craft. From her early work in films like Forensic Evidence and Health, to her memorable turn in Cross Creek, for which she received an Academy Award nomination, Woodard has always brought depth and nuance to her characters. In the 1990s, the film Miss Evers' Boys saw Woodard take on one of her most challenging roles yet, playing the complex and conflicted Nurse Evers. Her performance earned her widespread critical acclaim and a Primetime Emmy Award. Woodard has also made her mark on television, with standout roles in shows like Hill Street Blues, St. Elsewhere, and Desperate Housewives. She has also lent her talents to a number of classic films, including 12 Years a Slave and Captain America Civil War. Throughout her career, Woodard has remained dedicated to using her platform to make a difference. She is a passionate advocate for social justice and has used her voice to speak out on issues like racial inequality and gun violence. In the end, Alfre Woodard's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. She has blazed her own trail in the entertainment industry leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for years to come. Alfre Woodard, an accomplished actress, graduated from Boston University with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in acting. In the 1988 film Scrooged, she delivered a notable performance as Grace Cooley, joining a cast that included six Oscar nominees and one winner. Interestingly, Alfre shares her birthday with Norman Lloyd, and they both appeared together in the classic TV show Saint Elsewhere in 1982. This goes to show that the world of acting can bring together talented individuals in unexpected ways. Moving on from her acting career, Alfre's birthday is a unique connection she shares with another accomplished figure in the industry. It's always fascinating to discover such coincidences in the world of entertainment. Alfre Woodard, the accomplished actress, had a genuinely frightening experience while filming Star Trek First Contact. She played the role of Lily and was scared out of her wits when she saw her first board drone. Interestingly, Woodard had never seen Star Trek The Next Generation before, so the Borg drones were entirely new to her. In another instance, Woodard was considered for the role of Mia Wallace in Pulp Fiction, but Uma Thurman was cast instead. Thurman received a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her performance. Moreover, Woodard has a personal connection to the Jackson family's journey to California. Her old Tulsa, Oklahoma house, located near the Broken Arrow Expressway, is part of the Oklahoma Turnpike that the Jackson family took by bus to California for Jackson 5 performances. These facts reveal that Alfre Woodard's career and personal life are full of interesting anecdotes and connections, making her a fascinating figure in the world of film and television. Alfre Woodard attended and graduated from Bishop Kelly High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. She is a renowned actress who has starred in many classic films. One of her notable roles was in the film Lily Sloan, which was based on her character in the film Star Trek First Contact. Alfre was convinced to star in 12 Years a Slave without reading the script because she wanted to work with Steve McQueen. Alfre Woodard adopted her second child, a son named Duncan Spencer, in 1993 when she was 41. The child's father is her husband, Roderick M. Spencer. In the following year, Woodard's performance in the film Passion Fish gained significant recognition. She was the Los Angeles Film Critics Association's second choice for the Best Supporting Actress Prize in 1992. This classic showcased her undeniable talent and dedication to her craft. Alfre Woodard, a highly respected actress, experienced a tragic loss early in her life. When she was only 10 years old, her 17-year-old brother was killed in a car accident. This event had a profound impact on her and her family, shaping her perspective on life and her future career in acting. Woodard has since become known for her powerful 
and moving performances, often taking on complex and challenging roles. Despite the sadness she experienced in her childhood, Woodard has persevered and built a successful and enduring career in the film and television industry. Her work continues to resonate with audiences and leave a lasting impact. Alfre Woodard, the accomplished actress, has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With a career spanning over four decades, she has brought to life a diverse range of characters, showcasing her remarkable talent and versatility. Born in 1952 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Alfre Woodard has been a constant presence in both classic and contemporary productions. Her work in films like Cross Creek, Grand Canyon, and Miss Evers Boys has earned her critical acclaim and numerous accolades, including four Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. In the realm of television, she has graced shows like Hill Street Blues, Desperate Housewives, and Luke Cage, leaving audiences captivated with her powerful performances. Alfre Woodard's contributions extend beyond acting, as she has also lent her voice to various animation projects, and even tried her hand at directing. Her work has transcended the screen, resonating with many, and leaving a lasting impact on the industry. As we celebrate this classic actress, let us not forget to appreciate her enduring legacy and the intriguing roles she has brought to life. Let us cherish the moments she has shared with us through her work and look forward to more captivating performances in the future. Don't miss out on the opportunity to share your thoughts on Alfre Woodard's work and legacy in the comments. Let's celebrate the creative spirits shaping entertainment together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that appreciates the artists who have left their mark on the world of film and television.